All right, so I had a few people ask about how I did my hydraulic clutch. It's been here a few years. So this is the hydraulic clutch master cylinder off the Subaru. It was a 2001 Outback. I don't know if you can see. Let me pull back a little. There's a bracket in it. If I can tilt down a little, you can see a little bit of it there. See a bolt in there. It's like a channel type of bracket I made. That bolts to the frame head. You can see the bolts are staggered. When I first put it together, when I stepped on the clutch, it would torque the frame head because it's just a plate in the bottom. So it also, you can see bolts to the side here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a bolt there. That's the square, the angle iron that holds my gas tank. So now if you look, there's a rod there that also goes from that bracket. And it goes, see in here, right to the side of the frame head. That rod, semi-adjustable, whatever, but that stopped all the torquing. And it's all Subaru right off the shelf. So on the inside, <clears throat> let's see if I can get a light here. I did this a couple different times in the beginning. <clears throat> so you can see here, there's the rod that goes to the master cylinder. And I had to lengthen it for my car, just where I mounted the master. That's why you'll see it has a threaded rod type end on there. Well, the threaded rod's part of the master, but this, uh, that piece right there, I use this off the Subaru and it's welded on to this. That's all I had to lengthen my area. It was like an inch or inch and a half or something. But that makes it adjustable too. So then this ear, right here, that's off the Subaru. And so is the shaft. And it goes all the way through the pedals to where the little hook used to be on the inside. So the first time I did this, I just welded the shaft up onto the clutch pedal inside there. But when I was stepping on the clutch, the, clunnel, the tunnel would torque and flex down at the gas pedal assembly area. That would not be good over time. So I knew I needed to put another support. I can peel my carpets up. It takes two seconds. A little bit here, I think. Let's see if I can. do for cleaning anyway. So now you can see a little better. I had a friend of mine from right here. We just put on the lathe and turned the Subaru shaft down so it slid into the Volkswagen pedals. So it's the same size as the Volkswagen shaft there. And then I reattached the brake pedal all to the Subaru shaft. And you can see here, it's 
it's hard to see. But if you see the end of the bushing over down in there. That's all the factory bushing right out of the Subaru pedals. In fact, this piece is off the Subaru pedals too. And you can see my bolts are getting loose. I gotta tighten them up. But I haven't checked this in two years. So those bolts, there's a bolt there, another one on the other side. And then they go down here. That'd be why they're loose. <laughs> Gotta check your nuts and bolts once in a while. Anyway. You can see this is like an eighth inch plate. It's welded right in. The perimeter. So it's not just relying on the floor pan. And then you just, that holds the shaft straight, so you're not torquing anything. I'm going to have to buy lock nuts. So it happens you don't recheck stuff. I'm glad I pulled the carpet up. Well, we're put away for the season almost anyways. We're in the 40s and 50s now. I won't be driving it much longer. But yeah, I had to did have to machine that shaft. So now that it's dead straight, but it's easy to adjust. I ran the hydraulic line right on the, on the side of the tunnel, just like the brake line does. And it just goes back to my Subaru transmission and whatever you want to deal with out there. I just did not want to cut a tunnel. I know you put a reinforcement, but there's not much frame in these dune buggies. This way here, I'm not affecting any structure. Well, hopefully, someone will get some use out of it, and they can do it in one set of pedals instead of me doing it in two.